All right, so we are going to do learning target 1.2. I know what the symbols A and Z represent and can use them in isotopic notation. So when we look at our periodic table, there we go, um, we see a few things. The number up top, the whole number is the atomic number. That is Z. Then you've got your symbol, your element name, and your average atomic mass. Now this is not the same as A, which is mass number, so keep that in mind. All right, so Z is going to represent the atomic number. We do find that on the periodic table. You'll see it for every element. Now, A is the mass number. This is the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. It's a whole number. It cannot be found on the periodic table, and it's used to identify a specific isotope. So what's an isotope? That's an atom of an element. It's going to have a different mass. So what that means is that it has the same number of protons as that element, but it's going to have a different number of neutrons, and that's going to give it a different mass. So let's look at some ways that we can write isotopic, uh, isotopic notation. So the first way, you write the element followed by A. Remember, A is mass number. So neon 20, cobalt 60. You'll also see it written this way using the symbol of the element, and you'll see the, the mass number A written in front. Now sometimes, we'll get back to that in a minute. So neon 20, cobalt 60. This third way over here is a little bit lesser used. Um, you won't see it quite as often, but it's the symbol followed by the mass number. So neon 20 would look like this, and cobalt 60 would look like this. Now, from time to time, you will see isotope notation written this way with Z, the atomic number, written down below. So for neon, the atomic number is 10, so you would see it written like this. For cobalt, it's 28, so you'd see it written like this. Okay, back down there. All right, our third learning target. You need to know these symbols here. This is how we say proton, neutron, and electron in shortcut. So you're going to have a copy of this chart that you can fill in. Z is your atomic number. We're going to find it on the periodic table. It's also going to equal protons and electrons. That's in a neutral atom. A is your mass number. That's your protons plus the neutrons. All right, remember you do not find that one on the periodic table. So if we put that in symbol form, your protons plus your neutrons are mass number, or remember Z and P are the same thing. So Z plus N also gives you your mass number. All right, your protons are P. Now these are going to identify your element. All right, so if your protons change, you have a different element. So be careful there. That's found on the periodic table. It's the same as Z. Here's neutrons N with the superscript zero. Those, if we rearrange these equations, oops, sorry. If we rearrange these equations up here, then we get A minus Z or A minus P for our number of neutrons. And then E is our electrons, and for now we're going to be talking about neutral atoms, so it's the same as our protons. And we're going to learn how to fill in this chart using all of those equations, and that will be our next video.